and welcome to the hellscape that is my continued attempt at getting my DIY siphon nozzle waste oil burner to actually work. So I'm not even wearing orange today, I am so covered in soot and carbon and blackness that I didn't even bother to put my orange things on because it'd be coated instantly. Right, let me take you around my fails so far. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to step over all the stuff. So many tools and things and you'll have noticed this teal coloured uh, compressor here. So I'm pretty sure that I've boiled all the oil out of that compressor. And while it still works, it doesn't seem to be particularly happy about it. I mean, I could probably put more oil in it, but for the time being, well, I needed another compressor while my big compressor is away. And this is one of the silent, silent compressors. And to be fair, give it its due, it's actually pretty quiet. Now, what am I, where am I so far? So, in there currently, wait, I need a gauntlet. Hold on, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Put my gauntlet on. In there, and behind this pipe, behind this pipe, this hot pipe. So there is the burner head, and that is the 0.5 millimeter nozzle. And I did try, I found my old one millimeter nozzle that I used in a video, a long video, a video a long, long time ago. Because the problem I'm having is the half 0.5 millimeter nozzle doesn't want to siphon the waste oil. Even if I heat it till it's about the same consistency as diesel, it doesn't want to siphon. So I've resorted to putting a little drop in a siphon and having not a siphon, a funnel and having it kind of trickle down because it still doesn't run through the 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 hole's so small, it won't gravity feed uh, through it. It basically just stops as soon as the air is taken away. So this kind of works at the moment. I haven't tried it again without its burn head over the thing, but no, no, I'll fire it up and see if it works uh, for a moment. So put on the igniters, you see the igniters igniting, and then give it a little bit of air from the old compressor. And hopefully, it pops in a So that's not great because it's still very smoky. Now, if I put the pipe back over the top of it without getting electrocuted, right, that just sits there. It's got a pretty decent seal, metal to metal, and then turn the air back on. Turn the air back on. Go on. It does burn a lot better. Still smoky, but not as smoky. And it will eventually self-sustain uh, you can see the flames at the top there. Uh, yeah, after a few minutes you can turn the igniters off and away it goes. But it's not what I would call an automated process, which is what I wanted. Could probably give it a little bit more air. So that's okay like that. It'll burn smokeless uh, once it's all hit up and the pipe's nice and hot it'll burn pretty smokeless but the problem is if it runs out of fuel it smokes like a trooper no oh, there's the compressor on by the way if you can hear it in the background it's now fresh pressurizing up again so it's not terrible but it's not quite automated so I had, when I had the, right, should I just turn this off so you can actually hear me? Right, right. There's the air off and that off and that's the compressor running. It's pretty quiet. I'll let it finish its, no, I won't let it finish, right. Hush. When I had the one millimeter nozzle in, it ran a lot better, but it gave out far, 
far too much heat, it burned, feel like it was going to fashion. I did make a big long burn chamber pipe, because obviously that one in there that's not got any holes in it, not ideal. It would be better if I had some holes in it and a lid, that would be probably better. Or, as people shared with me, the No Blocks 7 guy, I've been watching his videos and he's like shaped like a jet engine kind of tubes that keep, makes it red hot. That might be another avenue to explore. So I knocked this up initially. They're just random uh, sized plasma cut holes done by hand. Literally eyeballed. And I didn't do the back because I was going to have that facing the rear of the heater here. And obviously I don't need the back wall receiving any heat. It was just supposed to radiate out around the front. And that mostly works with the one millimeter nozzle, but it was still far, far too burny. Burn if I, uh, I would need a lot bigger compressor to run it. But I've ordered a 0.8 mil millimeter nozzle to see if that gives me somewhere in between them and see if that gets me running. But I'm not super um, enthused with it at the moment. I would have liked to use a lot of compressor, but uh, I still might. I might extend that pipe up and then fill it with uh, oil again and see if it, the oil stays in. But I feel like it was condensing uh, water. I feel like it was water vapour coming out of it. I don't know, it might have just been pag oil, but it felt very, very watery. And I don't know if that was part of my problem. I did get a, uh, a bleed uh, valve in it to control the air. That's when it kind of gave up the ghost filling enough. And I switched to an actual compressor with the compressed air for the thing. But if I could just get it to siphon and if i can't get it to siphon i'm gonna get a tank that's not a tank of wood treatment it's just a metal uh, vessel that i could fill with oil and then put on the hot plate to heat, heat it up a bit but if i have to put a tank up over there and have it sitting on a shelf feeding it but it was supposed to be automated so i could turn it on when i'm in the house and have it heat the workshop up but i don't trust any of it to light stay lit stay going or like that at the moment and believe me I've been looking at the Bayran burners on uh, Aliexpress and on their own website but it's a thousand pounds nearly and a thousand pound for like the maybe the month that it's cold enough in the workshop for me to use a heater is it is it worth it should I just buy sticks and logs and put them in there and build a bonfire I don't know I'm gonna persevere with this a little bit more and then move back to making a diesel heater burner thing. It's basically going to be the bit, bits of a diesel heater burner heavily modified to run on uh, waste oil of all varieties without clogging up, because uh, you'll see. Uh, but we'll get to that. Well, sooner or later. If this doesn't all come together within the next few bits, I'm going to scrap it and save up money and buy a Bayran burner here and build another workshop here. But, yeah, okay. As I say, all right, good. This is smashing, rambling now. Marvellous. Any comments, questions, anything like that, please leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.